This is The Centaur by Mae Swenson. The summer that I was ten. Can it be there was only one summer that I was ten? It must have been a long one then. Each day I'd go out to choose a fresh horse from my stable, which was a willow grove down by the old canal. I'd go on my two bare feet, but when, with my brother's jackknife, I had cut me a long limber horse with a good thick knob for a head, and peeled him slick and clean except for a few leaves for the tail, and cinched my brother's belt around his head for a rein, I'd straddle and canter him fast, up the grass path, up the grass bank to the path, trot along in the lovely dust, and talcumed over his hooves, hiding my toes, and turning his feet to swift half-moons. The willow knob with the strap jouncing between my thighs was the pommel and yet the pole of my nickering pony's head. My head and my neck were mine, yet they were shaped like a horse. My hair flopped to the side like the mane of a horse in the wind. My forelock swung in my eyes, my neck arched and I snorted. I sheed and skittered and reared, stopped and raised my knees, pawed at the ground and quivered, my teeth bared as we wheeled and swished through the dust again. I was the horse and the rider, and the leather I slapped to his rump spanked my own behind, doubled my hoofs, beat a gallop along the bank, the wind twanged in my mane, my mouth squared to the bit, and yet I sat on my steed, quiet, negligent riding, my toes standing up the stirrups, my thighs hugging his ribs. At a walk, we drew up to the porch. I tethered him to a paling. Dismounting, I smoothed my skirt and entered the dusky hall. My feet on the clean linoleum left ghostly toes in the hall. Where have you been, said my mother. Been riding, I said from the sink, and filled me a glass of water. What's that in your pocket, she said. Just my knife. It weighted my pocket and stretched my dress awry. Go tie back your hair, said my mother. And why is your mouth all green? Rob Roy, he pulled some clover as we crossed the field, I told her. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about The Centaur by Mae Swenson. So the poem is about a young girl or the speaker is a younger person that's looking back on her younger days, so like uh, specifically when she was 10. And when she was 10, she would go around and ride and on her horse and she would pretend like she was a centaur, half human, half horse. And this kind of displays the greatness and the imagine the imagination of like a young kid that a lot of people desire now. So, um... So she's looking back on the summer when she was 10, and it was just a long time, and it was long ago, and so she's nostalgic. Um, and it, she does say, like, my head and my neck were mine. Yeah, they were shaped like a horse. So she is referring to herself as a horse, but um, she's still her human shape. So um, we have a simile right here, like the mane of a horse in the wind. Um... And then she says, specifically, I was the horse and the rider. So she's both. So she's, again, a centaur relating back to the title. So we're going to be using soapstone to, um, to kind of look at this further. So first we have speaker. And this is a woman who's looking back on her younger self. So as we have established in the beginning, the summer that I was 10. So she was looking back on, like, when she was 10, when she was really young. The occasion is she's admiring young imaginations and mystical thinking. So she's just thinking, like, a centaur is obviously not real, and so she's just, it's mystical thinking that she's ad ad admiring. Um, and then the audience is kind of anybody who desires to look back, who's nostalgic, and anybody who wants to, like, take another peek into, like, the life of a younger person. Um, the purpose is to display the importance of one's youth and great imagination of a child. So a child has very good imagination and it's very important to be imaginative like a child is so it's just displaying the importance of that um then the subject is a young girl who thinks that she is she just imagines that she's half human half horse and the tone is she's nostalgic whimsical imaginative etc um but at the end of this it still goes around about how she's half human half horse um and then at the end her mother and her are speaking and her mother is like um, go tie your hair back. Why is your mouth all green? She's just kind of confused as to what's happening, but the daughter lies, and she's like, well, this happened, but really, she's just having a lot of fun with her imagination. So the poem is just kind of describing a really imaginative, imaginative young person. Um, so yeah.